Hey guys, welcome to True Perry Guitars. Today is kind of a special day for me because uh, it's my birthday tomorrow and I decided I wanted to do something special for me and special for YouTube. So we're on our way to Anderton's. I love Anderton's, it is like, oh, it's, if you're the sort of guy that loves sleeping with your guitars, this is the place you need to go. So I'm going to go down here today and film a few things and I've bought one of my guitars and maybe they'll let me film, maybe they won't, I don't know, but going down here just to play a load of guitars, take the stress off of everything that's been going on, having a day off and just going to have a real kick butt time and hopefully compare my guitar to some of the, not, not, I'm not going to compare it to champion guitars or anything like that. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to catch some road trip footage as we go and um, yeah, yeah. Follow us down there guys. Pulling over to the services already because uh, someone needs a wee. <laughs> Good fun. <laughs> so, Charmaine has had a pee. <laughs> Get back in the car and carry on with our journey now. Push through. <laughs> Maybe find a bit of breakfast on the way. It's chilly today, really chilly at the moment. Let's hope it warms up a little bit because I'm skinny and I'm freezing. Alright, back on the road. secret fan. Let's go and show you all the gear. Come on. Chapman. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 
So this is the section where I'd like to shop, and this is the section where I can afford to shop. <laughs> you know, that sort of range. Look, look what's on offer. Check out that. Right, so we're in Anderton's, and we're in like my favourite room. And this isn't the whole reason why we're here. So I'd love to just smash a deposit down on this uh, two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine pound guitar, but I won't. Um, gonna try and pit my guitar against some of the other guitars. I mean, I, I definitely think it is better than the uh, SC stuff. But what I want to get my hands on is uh, Epiphone, uh, sorry, Les Paul Studio, and a Les Les Paul big boy, and uh, play some bits against mine and see what's what's cooking. So this is what this one sounds like and it, it does sound good. <laughs> which is the cheapest American made Gibson you can get. It is absolutely gorgeous, plays really well and um, it's not without its build flaws. Then again, there's a lot of guitars you get like that. Um, but I like it, I like it. And um, it sounds good, it plays good, feels good, it smells like vanilla, as most Gibsons do, and I like it. And I'm in a PRS room, and I've got to say, would I have this over that £700 PRS? Probably not. Probably not. I'd probably have that even over the big boy, but then again, I'm not the. Uh, expert guitar player that you'd need to be to actually tell the difference but it sounds awesome <laughs> come and test out a few drums as well, eh?
here you go, 1400 quid's worth. Is it better than mine? I can't really compare, I'm not allowed to. I mean, this is Gibson for Christ's sake, and I'm me. But it's nice to get an idea, you know what I mean? And I like getting an idea. <laughs> stuff. Now one thing I've never played with before is a loop pedal. So I'm about to have my first go with the Boss Loop Station RC3. And I know it's probably going to take a while to get used to what you've got to do with it, but let's see if we can't do this. Ready? <laughs> Every time I go in there I spend 
hundreds if not thousands on gear, I can't afford to do that this time. Especially not with the guitar show coming up, spending every penny on that. But it was absolutely great to go down there, do a little bit of filming, be in one of my safe zones. My fingers hurt, I played, oh, I must have played 10 or 12 guitars, I filmed 3 or 4 of them. Um, you tend to spend a lot more time with the guitars you love. Anyway. So here we are, back from Anderton's. I had to get a t-shirt at least, right? Such a good place down there. I'm going to put a link in the description to their website, the YouTube channel and everything. It's just an awesome place. I love it down there. Um, I hope they don't mind me doing this little video there. And I think, if anything, it's been a promotional video. Um, I'm not trying to compare my guitars to mainstream guitars anyway. Although I've, I've spoken a little bit about it in this video, I think. To compare yourself to manufacturers that have millions of pounds to spend and use a lot of machines and stuff is 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 kind of it's hard. Everything I do is by hand. What they do is mostly by machines. Um, anyway, it's uh, it was brilliant to go. I love it down there, and uh, it'd be nice if I could see my guitars for sale in their shops one day soon. Little hint there, Lee. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, check out my other videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, love ya, see you next time.